gathered here at Cedar Point for opening day of the 2019 season. Finally, we've been looking forward to this for quite a while. Look at that wind. Super windy today and cold. Ugh. So we are through security and we are ready to go in. This wind though may present a challenge today trying to film because it is brutal and ice cold, man. It is just cutting through us. Ooh, the gatekeeper. Now I do know on really windy days like this, not all the rides are operating. So we're gonna have to figure out what's going on and what's not going on. I think what we're gonna try to do first though is steal vengeance because I wrote it last year, Jakey wrote it last year, but Lindsay and Katie never got the opportunity. It was always too long a line. So we're gonna hop on our little cable cars here and take a shortcut. Or it's actually not a shortcut, it's just a quick cut. <laughs> Okay, I lied. No quick cut. The cable cars are not running, probably because of the wind. Or maybe they're just not running because it's opening day. Uh, you can see the flowers are coming in nicely so far this year. Oh, this is pretty neat coming up here. I knew they were going to be doing this monster truck thing, but it opens up next weekend. I didn't realize we were going to kind of get a little preview of it a week ahead of time. I don't know what all is going to be involved in monster truck uh, celebration, but I know these tarps will be coming off and you'll actually be able to look at these trucks starting next week. And we do plan on being here to check it out because our youngest loves cars and trucks. And he's already super excited even though they're all covered up. You can see they're doing some more work getting ready for next week's monster truck jam. It's actually going to be a few weeks. I think it runs three or four weeks. Oh, look at this truck. Oh, this will be exciting to see. The zombie truck. What's its name? Oh, just zombie. Take a look at the front end of that. Oh, it's going to be really fun, man. I can't wait for next weekend. Well, we weren't able to do the first part of our little quick cut back to Steel Vengeance because the cable cars were down, but we are going to be able to jump on the railroad take it the rest of the way back to Steel Vengeance. It's a really awesome shortcut. Really good way to get from the front of the park to the back of the park, because it is a huge park. Oh no, the Millennium Force is stuck on the lift hill. There's people in that car too. Oh dude, not cool. That would not be fun on a windy day, or any day really. I wonder how many people in line see that, get out and are like, nah, I ain't gonna ride that the rest of the day. I don't wanna get stuck. Ah, we have arrived back here in Frontier Town, heading back to Steel Vengeance. The tr cars are running, but I didn't see any people on them yet, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Hopefully, we'll somebody will be able to ride it, I'm hoping. People are starting to line up for Steel Vengeance, but they are not letting people on yet. At this time, they are unsure of when it's going to open. We might get in line. Whoa! Empty car! Okay, I think Katie and I are gonna wait in line and just wait it out. See how long it takes them to open up because I think it's gonna be a long line today otherwise. Well, so far today, this is very familiar to our opening day at Carowinds where we go to try to ride a ride, where we try to ride Copperhead Strike first thing and it kept breaking. Steel Vengeance is down. I don't think it's even ran. They're running cars like non-stop, but they're just full of the little water dummies. No idea. We waited about an hour and then just gave up because it, they were making announcements. It didn't look like they were going to get that thing up and running anytime soon. So we were back here at Camp Snoopy in the meantime while we decide what we're going to do. But that's okay because the brand new attraction this year at Cedar Point is the Frontier, Forbidden Frontier. Unfortunately, it's not open today. It doesn't open up until May 25th. And it is going to be where the old Dinosaurs Alive was. So I'm going to walk over to where the old Dinosaur Alive entrance is and see if that is where the entrance of Forbidden Frontier is going to be. Or is the entrance going to be over there by the Frontier Trail? Maybe they moved it. Let's go find out. Well, here's the old Dinosaurs Alive entrance in Camp Snoopy. I don't see any signs saying that it's going to be the Forbidden Frontier entrance. But I, hard to tell. I think what I'll do is head over to the Forbidden Trail and see if there's a, some sort of indicator there where this is going to take place. It's opening day back here at Camp Snoopy. So as you can see, Snoopy and the little Woodstocks, they're not quite ready to have their little boat start rocking back and forth on this waterfall yet. Maybe in a few weeks. Actually, pretty sad because my youngest is starting to get to the point to where I will no longer be able to ride Snoopy rides with him. He'll no longer need an 
supervising adult. So this is probably the last year I'll be able to do any of these stupid rides. Unless we have another child. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't know, maybe, you never know. Yeah, the Woodstock Express back here in Camp Snoopy has gone down. It's kind of a rough start to opening day this year for Cedar Point. That's the Millennium Force down, Steel Vengeance down, Woodstock Express down, and the cable cars so far. <laughs> All four of those were rides we were trying to ride too before we discovered they were shut down. A few of the Snoopy Gang member, or the Peanut Gang members out here doing a little song and dance. I think this year I'm gonna make it my goal to meet all the members of the peanut gang here. Well, Lindsay, Katie and I haven't had any luck. Did you, Jake, or Jay get to ride anything? We got to ride the mine ride, mine cart ride. Oh, the Cedar Creek mine ride? Yeah, did it, it was really fun. Did it make you sick? No. How long do you think before you're sick? <laughs> How many rides? Steel Vengeance. I don't know if you're gonna be able to ride Steel Vengeance today. It's still down. Somebody just walked by and said it was stuck on the hill now. But there's, it's just got water dummies in it at the moment. Uh, it looks like they're maybe running Wilderness Express, but there's nobody in it. So far, everything's going down. Okay, before I leave Camp Snoopy, oh, the Snoopy store's closed. Also broken down, I guess. Dang it, I was gonna go see if they had any pig pen stuff this year. But we're gonna go attempt to ride the Gemini as a family. It'll be the first time I think we've ridden a big roller coaster all together. Usually somebody sits out because of Jay, but he is finally tall enough for the Gemini. That was the longest wait I've ever had for the Gemini. Oh, you should have been in line for the mine ride. I think it was longer. Was it? Yeah. Well, well you wouldn't mean you think. You were in the you were in the Gemini line with us. I know. It, I, it was a lot shorter than the mine ride. Right, but what I'm saying is usually the Gemini is like walk on, but I think because there's so many rides down, it was a pretty long wait, but yeah. it was fun. I had a good time. That's one of my favorite coasters, even though it's old. I noticed when I was up on the Gemini, the Magnum also is down and not running. So. Oh boy. But I did see a Millennium Force train go up and over the hill, so maybe we'll walk over there and see if that's up now. Oh, so the boys have decided to ride the monster. All my boys are on the monster. And we've been waiting forever. It's not even that long of a wait, but like their load and unload time is probably the worst. And they finally get to go after all that waiting. Where are they at? I know they're in an orange one. Monster's always fun, but too spinny for me. Not happening. I hate being critical, especially today, because I know, you know, you're just getting into the groove of things and swing of things. With the ride time, the load unload time for the monster today is terrible. It's really bad. I've been waiting. My son and I were on the same ride, and I've been waiting like 10 minutes for him to get off. Hey, JJ got the Charlie Brown car and the Peanuts 500. I'm pretty jealous because normally I would get in there and ride these little Snoopy rides with him, as we like to call them. But this particular one, these little Snoopy 500. I have a really rough time fitting in that car with him. Yeah, they have a pig pen car in the Peanuts 500. I'm surprised because Cedar Point barely seems to acknowledge pig pen exists. And there he goes. Peanuts 500 is one of his very favorite rides here. I think it's time for us to move away from Camp Snoopy for a little while. Head back into the park and do some bigger rides. Or maybe we'll go over to Planet Snoopy and do some more Snoopy rides. Hey, check it out, this is brand new. Right across from Camp Snoopy is a brand new barbecue restaurant. I didn't even read that they were putting this in. Backbeat Barbecue, how about that? Brand new. Oh, I love barbecue. I have to make it a priority to go here. So here's what we got. Right here we got, uh, what is it? It's one side and one meat for $13.99, and then you can add like an entree. So we've got, is that perch? Yeah. Perch, fried okra, beef brisket, barbecue pork, or, okay, smoked pork, potato wedges. Not very many potato wedges. No, not Rotisserie chicken, macaroni and cheese, and a sausage. Sausage and macaroni and cheese. So we just got done eating our barbecue, and we were gonna talk about it there, but the problem was they were playing the radio, and sometimes they, when you make these videos and you pick up the radio, you get those little copyright uh, warnings. And I didn't feel like <laughs> risking it because it was playing pretty loud. So we're over here in front of the Top Grill Dragster. In case I am muting out what I was saying over that meal, we got some fried fish, brisket, fried okra, pork, pulled pork, uh, 
a couple macaroni and cheeses, potato wedges, and a, a sausage, and a rotisserie chicken. And I believe it was, it was $13.99, you got one meat, the little corn biscuit, and an entree. I thought it was pretty good. You know, it's a good alternative to some of the park food, so it wasn't too bad. The only thing I would probably avoid, me, what I thought, the fish. <laughs> I don't think I would get the fish, but, and the macaroni and cheese was just kind of plain, but the other stuff was pretty good. Yeah. What'd you think of it? Yeah, I liked everything I tried. I thought, let's see. You tried everything. Yeah, I did try everything. I liked. You complained about the fish as well. The best. Yeah, the fish was, all I really tasted was the salt and the breading. The pork, pork, pork. 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 It was smoked pork. Oh, smoked and pork and smoked sausage, and those were both delicious. I think the sausage was my favorite, actually. Chicken was pretty good too, but I don't know. It's chicken. I guess I have chicken a lot, so maybe I'm tired of it. But. It's laid out a little bit funky. I was gonna film the inside of it, but it's just packed today, just like everything. So I mean, there was not gonna be any room to actually show the inside of the restaurant, unfortunately. But it's laid out similar to the Coney Barbecue at Kings Island, but it's themed different. That's about what I could say about it. Yeah. But I tell you, dude, this weather today is brutal. Yeah. It, like the sun comes out for a minute and it gets warm, and then it goes down, and it's the wind hits you. Looks like it's gonna rain. I don't know, let's go see if we can get something in. We haven't been able to do much. No. Hopefully we can do maybe the Bell Raven. We were going to do the corkscrew where the kids were, and it's a two-hour wait. Two-hour wait for the corkscrew. And there you go, in case you didn't believe me. Two hours. That's got to be a joke. I wonder if somebody changed it. I'm sitting here looking at this, and there's no way that that's a two-hour wait. Because there's the ramp up to get on the ride. I think somebody's just pulling a joke, so the kids jumped in there to check it out. You know, for a video, what I should do, Lindsay, is come in here and get my face painted like that early in the morning and walk around all day. <laughs> Maybe I'd do that if I hit, like, an important milestone or something. That'd be kind of funny. And there they go. That's the train they're on. That was not two hours. <laughs> it was, like, it was a long wait. Maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Yeah. It looks like we're fine. Frontier Trail today. Rides, are we? Everything, the few rides that are open have pretty long wait times, and a lot of them keep closing. They're popping back up online every now and then, though. Like the Millennium, or not the Millennium Force. Yeah, the Millennium Force was down, now it's up for two hour wait, and the Magnum's up and running. Oh no! My little trail tavern's not open today. What in the world? Yeah, I love all the moss growing on top of the trail tavern. I can't believe it's not open! Oh man, oh, this is like the last straw, because this is one of my favorite things to do when I'm here. So I don't know, I've never seen this back here before. This looks pretty new. Give it a yank. Well, don't rip the door off the hinge there, Lindsay. <laughs> I think that's new. Okay, we found the entrance to the Forbidden Frontier. Oh, Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island. Okay, I thought there was an island in there. So it is not in Camp Snoopy. It will be in the Frontier Trail. Wow, I can't wait for that. So that opens up, I believe, May 25th. Pass holder preview May 24th. So we'll probably come down on the 24th and check it out. I'm not entirely sure what it is. It's kind of an ambiguous description. It sounds like some sort of like interactive adventure with puzzles to solve and... Maybe physical challenges, maybe not. I, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty excited to find out. And the anticipation is killing me for that uh, Forbidden Frontier. I can't wait to find out what it is. Me too. Yeah. You look it up. I did look it up. There's like no information, hardly. Oh. I hope it's kind of like an escape room, because if we like escape rooms. Yeah. These guys are like animal crazy, so I think we're gonna head into the petting zoo for a little bit. I'm surprised the animals are open today. <laughs> I know, I am too. Look Not it. down for maintenance. We found some hobbit horses. What are they? Hobbit horses. Is that what they're actually hobbit called, or are you just making oh, stuff no, up? That's just what I'm gonna call them. Look at these fuzzy chickens. They are cohabitating with the bunnies at the moment. <laughs> Those bunnies look cold. <laughs> Look how fuzzy these chickens are, Katie. Bunnies! Wow. <laughs> I've never seen such <laughs> fuzzy chickens. Fuzzy chicken. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not 100% sure they're chickens. They're chicken-like creatures, how about that? They're very fluffy. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> There's some little lambs over here, or maybe they're goats, I'm not sure. I, I think they're jackrabbits, I'm not 100% sure. Probably says outside. They're big, whatever they are. <laughs> it's a cute little area in here. Look, Jim, a crate. Oh, we have an escapee. That is a beautiful rooster. I think that's a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got one perched on the fence, too. He's also an escapee. There we go. What are these? Are these llamas or alpacas? These are llamas. Llama, llama. Hey there, dude. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the alpacas have that little patch of fuzzy hair on top. Oh, okay. We've actually been back here a couple times, right? I've never seen llamas back here, though. Oh, hello. Yeah, whoa. Did you watch? They either really think you got food or they really want you to pet them. Oh, you got some food. How'd you get the yeah, food? Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, they're crazy for those little pellets. I came back to the back of the park to kind of just check on the Steel Vengeance situation, see what was going on. It is now 4 o'clock. Katie and I were waiting in line. We got in line at noon and they weren't letting people in. And they still aren't. So looks like we made a good decision getting out of there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is not going to be running today. <laughs> it looks like no steel vengeance on opening day for us. We'll have to see if we can get on it next week during the Monster Jam thing. Yeah, I really want to ride it. Oh yeah, you'll love it. I mean, it might make you sick, but you'll like it. Now, at this point, we're not getting much done. It's almost 6 o'clock. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of quit filming for a little bit. And we're going to go try and knock out as many roller coasters as we can. I think we're going to try to do Val Raven or Gatekeeper or Rougarou something. Let's go see what we can do, and then we'll let you know. Ooh, here comes the Val Raven right now. Let's watch this car go down. It ain't looking like a good... The chance that we're going to be able to ride it isn't looking very good because I can see the queue from here and it's into the second queue. Well, that's it. We're tapping out. We're leaving early. It's far too cold. So we're going to head out to the car and wrap this thing up. Well, that's going to do it for us here. Opening day at Cedar Point. I think the theme of the day today, or the biggest problem, was the temperature. It was cold and the wind was brutal. It was cutting. <laughs> I think it kept a lot of the rides down. I mean, there was a lot of rides down, a lot of stuff not open, but I think you'd have to expect that for opening day of the theme park. I'm sure that stuff's all going to get opened up. Hopefully they take care of whatever issue was going on with Steel Vengeance. I kept that ride down the entire day. Even though they were nonstop sending trains with the little water dummies in it, there was something not right about it that they were trying to figure out. But we're going to be here a lot. We'll be here back next weekend for the Monster Jam. Ooh, so that's going to be fun. We did end up riding um, Bell Raven, Iron Dragon, Blue Streak, Ocean Motion. JJ rode a couple more Snoopy rides. And that's about all we got in after our last little check in before the temperature just completely drove us out of here. So, this is kind of like our park, we feel like our home park, even though we're not from Ohio. We don't live in Ohio. It's a, and this park's actually several hour drive from where we live, which we got to head back right now i'm not looking forward to that but still i love cedar point and i highly suggest you come here if you get a chance so thanks for watching